start with a very interesting topic the curve what do you think it is related to it's actually related to energy consumption let's look into how it is related to energy consumption so here we have a duck curve now duck curve actually says the amount of energy uh, consumption so if you look onto the darkest line which is the brown line we would see in the morning hours the consumption is very less but this consumption starts to peak at around 6 am in the morning during the noon around 12 to 3 this is at its minimum and this peaks again at 6 pm what does this indicate first of all the shape as you can see is the shape of the duck so this is the structure that says that this is a duck shaped structure right now this duck the belly of the duck is actually very very high during the morning hours and during the evening hours why the reason being uh, this is a graph from first of all California where most of the population is working and now here what would happen when they when the people are at home they have maximum consumption of energy but when they return back from the office they again have a peak load of consumption but what would happen with the solar rooftop solar rooftop actually produces maximum and the sun is brightest during the noon hours but at the, that noon hour the consumption is minimum so what's happening up here is this duck curve is having a great implication onto the economics how first of all the consumption pattern switches now when the consumption pattern switches Despite the fact that people have solar rooftops, they would need to have alternate sources of energy, which is the non-renewable sources of energy. That means the power grids, energy supplied through power grids during the peak hours of consumption. Now, these power grids do not know actually what would be the amount of energy consumption. And therefore, this is uh, called as a kind of dispatchable uh, replacement the most important thing that we need to understand is despite the solar rooftop if you want to conserve that solar energy for the evening hours or for the early morning hours there need to be a battery so there has to be two form of energies which would be required at, at the same time it's not just the solar energy but also batteries along with solar energies would be required in case you want that solar energy to be utilized during the off peak hours where the sun is when the sun is not the brightest in case you are utilizing the battery that's fine if you are not utilizing the battery you would have to rely on power grid systems and where economics play a crucial role because if power grids do not have sufficient demand they start to actually uh, with the reduced revenue they downgrade their systems there are reduced number of grids that would be seen and also people would have a tendency to depend less on solar energy because that can be obtained only during the noon hours which is viable only during weekends what would happen during the weekdays would be a different scenario so these grids are unable to take those things into account and therefore this duck shaped curve or the duck curve as it has called is very important to understand the energy analysis especially in developed nations california is one of the examples which have been cited and if you look onto the curves the dark moves, the brown one and the gray one here. The gray curve is relatively less steeper. It's not of the shape of duck actually. So this curve which is during the 2012 is less steeper because during that time there is less dependence on the uh, solar powers. And as a result when you have more dependence on the solar power being uh, taken into account the shape of the curve has drastically changed and this has impacted the energy consumption and the power grids as well so those things are really important this can be a very interesting case study cited when you are talking about issues related to energy security talking about renewable sources of energy their pros and cons at that point of time time this is one of the case studies that you can bring in your answer writing thanks for joining in today